So women started working. No, 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 wait, wait, no, 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 no. It was after Great Depression Wasn't kicked it? off Depression in 1929. Started. Oh my God! She does. You can't be reading historical facts and not even know the timeline of what you're talking about. Uh, and the legal ability to have four up to four wives. Do you think that most men? in 2022 could actually deal with having or yeah deal with having four wives so financially emotionally nope. um spiritually physically everything so yeah. I, I must say this right now anybody who's a who agrees that a man can have four wives and give them the exact same amount of effort is lying to themselves but anybody who says that a man can have more than one wife can have four wives ten wives and support them financially there are a lot of men in this world that can do that but what you're asking for is a, a full embodiment of a relationship with multiple people four people and giving all of them the exact same thing there's going to be a deficiency in there somewhere no matter who it is you cannot have multiple partners and be giving your all to every single one of those people because it's literally impossible for you to do that now financially a lot of men can support multiple women financially that doesn't mean that they're going to be the best spouse the best person to be in a relationship with those are two different things all women are like it's cool to be yes. with there's more no than one there's no if, jealousy, that, if that was no the case yo, i get 50 percent of success rate can you handle for women can i've been handling for women majority of my life at the same time the and these same are wives damn time. wives so i'm not talking about no little side piece I'm not talking about every, every, uh, a little see, fuck here and there. That's not what I'm talking it, about. What, it, actually, it is because what actually ends up happening is that most side pieces are or have been there for a long period of time. There's a lot of time and investment that has been spent with that person. Now, the only difference is the transparency between the side piece and the main. That's the okay. only difference. That changes the dynamic. It doesn't. What what he's what he's talking about is being upfront and honest. I don't think that that's the question that they're asking. They're asking is, can you as a man be a good positive influence on multiple women at the same time and give all of them the exact same effort? I don't think you can. Can you have a bunch of women? Yes, it's very easy. Believe me, most men who get women can get multiple women because it's a lot of niggas out here who can't get nothing women just don't care about them so it's easy if you are a man who can get women even be worried about that side piece if everything is is right uh what, what, the what side the, piece what the is going to be there you don't know what i'm saying no, is saying that, that the wife don't care if you got a side piece as long as she's good yeah, and, and there may not even be a need for a side piece is what, what I'm, I'm trying saying. to know there is well that's what i'm saying the side piece to what she's saying mm -hmm. is considered a wife and what we're trying to say. that side piece gets a lot of the same treatment as his main if not more so when i'm saying that's, it's men that have been had any man who's given a side piece the same everything that they're giving a main chick is a fucking fool you give them the hey i'm finna come through man we finna kick it blah blah blah, blah. hey I'm finna go do this. You want to come through and do this? Da, da, da. I'm not laying up with you. I'm not kicking it with you like that. We not going nowhere. If a new movie come out and you want to go see that movie, we not going to see that movie together. That's just what it is. You there, you going to get some benefit, but you ain't going to get everything. My time is too precious for it to be with you and somebody else. That's not going to happen. This is why monogamy in most times is detrimental to a person's or a couple's growth. Because it limits the ability when you only have two people to, to, to actually balance everything out. You have you and you have me. So now you, have, you only have two people, two sources of income. You only have two sources of resources, right? But versus if you had four to five. If I had four people in my house it is. I don't, I don't disagree. that were resources building with income as well. or Hell, if we had three of us providing income and one of us was taking care of the home, hypothetically speaking. Mm -hmm. That's still a crazy amount of money. Yeah. And that's amount of ability. Well, what he's, I, I totally agree with what he's saying. 
if you have that. But that's not what people are trying to achieve. What people are trying to achieve is I'm going to do this. I'm going to live my life. I'm going to have all these chicks and I'm going to do what I want to do. And that's going to be my playtime. That's going to be my fun time. If you are actually bringing people in and y'all have a joint relationship and a joint responsibility to each other then that is called polygamy my guy that's that's not a side chick that is called polygamy man it's not the same thing ask a question like since we're talking about i agree monogamy who who do y'all think established monogamy oh, we well, just told you. The we just told you no but okay so established so who who was running the church oh oh you're trying to say man duh because, because it became too expensive because right. men got off I, I just find it very ironic. Monogamy was a construct that was created by the hierarchy around that time, like around the dark ages, a little after that, where people were women and very successful men who happened to be priests and were dukes, kings, lords, royal families, people that were in those inner circles and people that had a lot of status were getting 99% of the women. To stop rebellion from keep happening from all of the men that were around, a man and a woman had to become conjoined. So what they did was, hey, I'm going to get all the bitches. But if you have a woman that you want as your own, I'm not going to touch that woman. That's where monogamy comes from. The people with the money and status and fame and all of the all of the resources, they were never they were never monogamous. They didn't want men rioting in the streets because just like today, there are far more men who can't get women than there are men who can. That the same <laughs> men who established and pushed and pushed monogamy want to push back on the shit now no i just find it very we're ironic not, we're not pushing back. first of all we didn't establish it who established it not when i say we there's two groups of men there's men today that say i don't want more than one girl a lot of men say they won't do it and there's men we had um shout at, out to at, bernard at right? the end of the day yeah. you yeah. are yeah. you have to live according to the rules of your is exactly what i was saying she wants the men who are at a higher status and that are at a higher level and who never push for monogamy and never were monogamous men to also be monogamous, which is not what happened in history. And it's never going to happen. Men with money and status and all of the things that make them extremely attractive and extremely sought after are never going to be those men that you want. Okay, okay. If you want to play that route, we can play that route. And I could be like, well, there are women that say I don't want to work. And that's been that has been longer than the right. Well, who women. established it? A woman. Oh, that was the women's movement. No, no, no. Actually, it wasn't. A it wasn't. So the, so you got a you got a computer right there. We so you can you can look up why women enter the workforce. Please look it up. That has nothing to do with right. with that the women's movement. Facts. I'm gonna read this whole sentence or Take two paragraphs actually. Take your time. And this is from archives.gov. So it's a governmental site. All right. So we know it's not bullshit. Yeah, it women, is. Okay. <laughs> women have always worked outside of the home, but never before in the numbers or with the same impact as they did in World War II. So. I didn't want to say this because y'all going to second guess me. I wanted y'all to, to come from here. It was the war. All right. Okay. So prior to the war, most of the women that did work were from the lower working classes. Um, and many of these women were minorities. So we know they were black. And I think we all knew this. Um, they were a variety of there were a variety of attitudes towards women in the workforce. Some thought they should only have jobs that men did not want, while others uh, felt women should give up their jobs so that unemployed men could have a job, especially during the Great Depression. Still, others held the view the that the Great Depression was before World War One. I. I mean, World War Two. I'm sorry. Yeah, it had yes. So women started working. No, no, no. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. It was after Great Depression Wasn't kicked it? off Depression in 1929. Yeah. Oh my God, she doesn't. You can't be reading historical facts and not even know the timeline of what you're talking about. While men were off fighting a world war, a worldwide war across the Atlantic and Pacific, women were called to take their place on production lines. The Man War Power Commission, a federal agency established to increase the manufacture of war materials, had the task of recruiting women into employment vital to the war effort. Men's attitude towards women in the war and the workforce was one challenge to overcome, but surprisingly, women's own ideas about work outside the home had to change as well. They had no choice. Two of the primaries... Uh, 
Yeah, that's it. All right, women had to come out to work when the war was over. When the men came home from war, it was like, go back in the kitchen. And the women was like, hell no, we're going to start a women's movement. We're not going back to the kitchen. It wasn't starting a women's movement. It was like, you. He, he, no, lady, that is exactly what happened. That's exactly what happened. Why are you, why are you changing historical facts? Women of that time saw independence. They have entire billboards about this that are are historical archive you cannot change what the facts were the man came back for the from the war these women had the jobs the problem with these women had the, having the jobs was these companies were actually paying the women less than what they were paying the men which is messed up the men wanted these jobs back because they could make more money doing the jobs the women said hey I'm out and about. I'm living my life. You've been gone for a few years. I've been supporting us and taking care of us. I don't want to go back into the house. I want to keep doing what I'm doing. That's an independent thing. I don't understand why you're pushing back against this. It was actually a good thing that the women did that, correct? I thought it was a dope video. I thought it was a good conversation to have. And y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think about this. You know what I mean? It's a situation where I think a lot of people just don't really understand how the world works. They want everything to have feelings attached to it. When a lot of the time, a lot of things are just basic, based off numbers. It's based off how, how people calculate something to be productive or less productive. That's my thought on it. Y'all let me know what your thoughts are on it. It's been Keith versus Star. Peace. Peace.